One of the best ways to take your live stream content to the next level is by allowing your audience to control the music that they're listening to. And so today I'm going to show you how you can set up song requests for your TikTok live streams utilizing Techfinity. Now, before we get started, I do want to go ahead and mention that in order for this to work, you are going to have to have a laptop or a PC. You cannot use your cell phones and you cannot use your tablets because in order for this to work, you have to utilize a streaming software such as OBS, Streamlabs OBS, Melt Studio, or even TikTok Live Studio. And so the first thing you want to do is head on over to Tickfinity's official website. And I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below so that way you guys can go directly to this page. And in case if you want to download the software, I'll also have a link to the installer down in the description below as well. And so once you're on the home page, what you need to do is click on this option at the top that says set up and you want to create an account with Techfinity. Now, once your account with Techfinity has been set up, you then need to put in your username so that way you can log in with your TikTok account. And so from here, you want to scroll down until you see the option that says song request and then sign in with your Spotify account on the right hand corner. Now, really quickly, I do want to mention that you do have to have Spotify premium in order for you to be able to utilize this feature. And so if you don't already have it, make sure you guys go ahead and get it so that we can follow along with the next steps. Now on the same page, it does provide you with all of your commands that you and your viewers can use to request music through Spotify. And you can control what type of songs that can be played as well as who has the permissions to request or do certain commands. And so once you set up all of your settings and your permissions, you want to scroll back up and there's going to be two links provided to you. One of them is going to be setting up your music overlay so that way you can display whatever song is currently playing on screen. And then the second one is going to be setting up your command info so that way you can see exactly who has requested that particular song. And so if you want to add them, the only thing you have to do is just click on the links. Tickfinity is going to automatically bring you directly as to where this is at. You are then going to copy the link URL and you then want to paste the link inside of your streaming software. Now I'm currently inside of TikTok Live Studio. And so in order for me to add the link, I'm going to click on the plus icon on my sources. This menu is going to pop up here. I'm then going to click on the option that says link. And then I'm just going to click add and paste the link right here. Now it does give you the option to change your resolution so you can make it bigger or smaller. However, I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to select add source. And then it's going to pop up right here. You can put this wherever you want. I'm going to put mine right here in this corner. And now if I were to go and play a song on my Spotify, it should then automatically pop up right here. And so you can just stretch this out a little bit. And then you can paste it like right here. And then it tells you how long it has for the song. Um, and if you switch the song, you would go to a different song. It's going to be a couple seconds, but it should then automatically switch over to the next song. And there we go. And so if you're utilizing OBS, Streamlabs OBS, or even Mel Studio, the process is the same exact way. Just click on the plus icon for your sources, go inside of your browser source, and then paste the link that you got from Techfinity into the browser source, click apply and okay and it will automatically add it inside of your canvas and then you just rescale it and you're good to go. Now, the moment that you go live, you need to make sure that your Techfinity recognizes that you are live. And so inside the application, you wanna scroll all the way up to the top, select the option that says start and press this button that says to connect to your TikTok live. And so to show you what this looks like, I am now live on my TikTok account. And if I were to just add a few songs into my chat, I can then come inside of Techfinity and you will be able to see all of my songs that I have requested and or have played. And so with that being said, that is all you have to do to set up song requests for your TikTok live streams. Now, if you made it to the end of this video or if you learned something new, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you just go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. And in case you want to learn something new, make sure you click on this video right here as YouTube did recommend this video specifically for you. And I will catch each and every single one of you in the comment section down below or in the next video. Have a wonderful day, guys.